Good morning. It's Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Many Faces of Hope, and our scripture is Psalm 107. Some wandered in the wilderness, lost and homeless. Hungry and thirsty, they nearly died. Lord, help! they cried in their trouble, and he rescued them from their distress. He led them straight to safety, to a city where they could live. This psalm celebrates Israel's history, of course, but it's also a story told and retold throughout the generations of humanity. It's the story of distress and deliverance, rags to riches, dungeon to throne, love lost to reunion, blindness to sight, crippled to leaping, and in a thousand other themes. This is God's story of the bleak impossible turned real, the ageless magnificent story of hope and salvation. Monday of this week, the ultimate working out of this story made its way into my line of sight again. We buried a church member. Linda was not pretentious or mean-spirited. She wasn't over-demanding or unduly proud, other than her love of Alabama's Crimson Tide football team, that is. She was just Linda, mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, and she loved her family and football. It is humbling to stand before any congregation with the awesome charge to present the gospel of Jesus Christ but particularly so when the charge for the preacher is to say a word of comfort to a grieving family. The words are in the church's worship book about why we gather. Quote, that in pain we may find comfort, in sorrow, hope, in death, resurrection. Sometimes that comfort, hope, and resurrection come in just gathering, or the preacher's words, or a child's reciting a memory verse. Monday, for me, It came in the son-in-law's song. With a resounding baritone, Rick sang, Celebrate Me Home. The words of the song are particularly filled with faith in God, which overcome pain and sorrow. It was almost impossible to get off my chair and continue after Rick sang. Here are the words. When the time comes, and I'm standing at the river that separates the two worlds that I love, torn between my precious friends and my family, and the place of peace that's waiting above, hold my hand and stay there by my side, and when I finally step into the tide, celebrate me home. Celebrate me there. Celebrate me in that land of wonder where nothing can compare. Celebrate me in that place. Celebrate me saved by grace. Don't just sit and weep because I'm gone. Celebrate me home. I spent most of my life on earth preparing to take the trip from here to heaven's throne. With a shield and the word of God to guide me, it's a comfort knowing I'm not alone. So when I take my final fleeting breath and fade into the gentle sleep of death, celebrate me home. Celebrate me there. Celebrate me in that land of wonder where nothing can compare. Celebrate me in that place. Celebrate me saved by grace. Don't just sit and weep because I'm gone. Celebrate me home. No more broken dreams. No more tears to cry. Into my father's arms I'll fly. Celebrate me home. Celebrate me there. Celebrate me in that land of wonder where nothing can compare. Celebrate me in that place. Celebrate me, saved by grace. Don't just sit and weep because I'm gone. Celebrate me home. This song is more than just a tearjerker designed to create a momentary flood of emotion. This is a Christ-centered statement of faith and the fondest prayer I know for the ones I love. It bridges the divide between longing for heaven and the connection of here. For you today, if you've lost someone and you've run out of ways to stop hurting, take a few minutes to reread the words of this song. Listen to it sung. Discuss these words with another friend or your pastor. This is why God gave us the church, so we can move beyond grieving as those who have no hope. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.